Okay, approaching uh, Zeyreib. We are. And it's a village, what did you call it, village? Well, it's like a village cathedral. Ah. It's a really, really high uh, church. Uh -huh. And acoustics are really good. Ah. Um, we are now going to, uh, to a farm, I think, I'm not sure. And the key is in a, a garden house. Uh -huh. We have to leave uh, 10 euros in a box, okay. and then we can play the organ. Oh. <laughs> they did that uh, so they could uh, have some extra money for the maintenance. Oh, that's so wonderful. And really yeah. happy to give some money for of it. Of course, so yeah. Great system. Yeah. Great system. So now let's find the key. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. It's huge for a village like this. Yeah. Freestanding towers. Yeah. Not connected to the church. Yeah. Nice. The acoustics is, are nice. They are. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> that is beautiful. Wow. Tell me about this organ. Um, it's an organ built by Faber, Faber in the 1600s. Mm -hmm. And um, there are some old pipes, but most of them are reconstructed. Mm -hmm. But it is a really good reconstruction. Mm -hmm. It's done by Etzkes and Blanc together. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, Do they usually work together? No, but at that, that time they did a couple of projects together, I uh -huh. heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is a very good reconstruction, I think, mm. and you will love it. Mm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, let's do it. Can't wait. Oh, no, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs>
just like a ladder. Ah, you can count the bellows, of course. Three bellows. Which bellows? There we are. Sounds good. And we have light. Good. You can choose that. Okay, so this is uh, something a bit different for, for what we've seen so far. That's right. Yeah. We see the stop knobs on top uh -huh. and on the side. Those are from the rugwerk. Those are for the pedal and the hoofdwerk. Uh -huh. um, this organ is built by Faber, mm -hmm. 1651. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really old again. Um, but unfortunately, most pipes were gone. So it is a reconstruction. But there are some old pipes in it, so that's good. Mm. Um, but always, uh, what also is different is the compass of the manual. Mm -hmm. It's um, from bottom C to A2. It's not C3, but A2, so mm -hmm. you miss the highest notes. Mm. And the other thing is that it's uh, the other way around. The lowest manual is the hoofdwerk, yeah. and the upper manual is the rugwerk. Yes. And it's got a short octave. It has a got, uh, yeah, a short yeah. octave. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the pedal also. Mm -hmm. It's also a short octave. Yeah. In Krebert, it was the normal way, and yeah. here it is a short octave. Yes. So you won't get distracted because no. when you play the pedal in Krebert, you have to think, oh, this is different than this. Yeah, this yeah. It doesn't work very, very well. What also is uh, nice, there is a, a Nachtegaal, that's a little bit, a little bird. Isn't it nice? It's really one of the better ones I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not so uh, offensive. No. No, it's and it's really bubbly. Um, here I am. Yeah. Lovely. It has a trommel, a drum, yeah. that is um, a, a low pipe. It's a shelf couple. Uh -huh. So you have to be careful when you're playing, you're not uh, allowed to okay. move the couple. Yeah. Did you hear that? There was yeah. a ringing noise. Something is wrong there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll play louder than that. Maybe that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. So where would you want to start with this organ? Um, maybe with the Quinta Dena. Ah. It's a look positive. Sounds it's nice. It's a nice one. Again, it's mean tone, of course. That's what we like. <laughs> and and, and for, 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 for those of us who are new to, to the organ world and are wondering about the specific, specific quality of the Quintadena, what, what, could you explain? Yeah, uh, Quintadena is actually a principal pipe, a normal uh, size, with a top on it, closed. So you get a, a really high quint tone in it. Mm -hmm. You hear this quint. That's why it's called Quintadena. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So when you have the same pipe but then a little bit wider, it is more like a normal flute. Mm. So this is the same uh, principle mm -hmm. as, as, as the organ pipe mm. uh, is, is made. But it's wider, so mm. it sounds uh, more uh, uh, more grandier. Yeah.
I don't know what it is with these sounds. I want to go home now and just sleep over this sound. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Well, then we should go home. <laughs> go to sleep. There are some other interesting stops. Oh, we need to please, explore. <laughs> please, let me hear. Uh, four foot flat flute wholesale. Mm -hmm. to say something about we've been playing so many organs now and the difference in uh, the listening position for you as a musician is rather remarkable I think it's very different from different organs right yeah yeah but that's what makes it interesting maybe also. yeah so what, how would you describe this listening experience from your perspective well you can hear the rugwerk quite clear actually uh, it's speaking the other side of course but mm -hmm. you can hear it quite clearly yeah and the hauptwerk hoofdwerk is more above your head <gasps> but i think you can hear it quite good over there to me it sounds quite yeah. good yeah. yeah of course downstairs it's always better but yeah you should yeah. have a nice uh, uh sound perspective over here also yeah yeah that's nice when you're playing well, you have the impression that this is a very open space to be in uh, behind here. It's, it's sometimes different, but this is very a very lofty feeling here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What I like on this oh. organ is the quintedain four, uh, eight with the flute four together. It's oh. a nice combination. Mm. <laughs> Also, is quite special is the size of the stop knobs coming out. It's, it's quite a small uh, uh, movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I played an organ once with the stop knobs <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. This is the principal aid of the host track. Also very nice.
That was interesting to hear the differences. Yeah. How would you describe them? Yeah, the, the, the one from the Rugwerk is a little bit flutier. This is more direct. Makes a difference. Yeah, it really yeah. does. Should try some uh, principal combinations, maybe. Mm -hmm. I will add the uh, pedals uh, also. This is um, a Boudon uh, 16. It's called Barton. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Doof is a Dutch uh, old word for uh, uh, prestant. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. principle four and two at the rugwerk but you can of course add the quintadain acht with it and then play for example one octave lower then you have uh, a 16 8 4 uh -huh. virtually but not mm. really. and then I use the uh, two stops of the great
think that's uh, that's a very interesting way to use uh, the possibilities of an instrument that you're you're showcasing, that you can always be m not just looking at the stops, but you can sort of think, ah, what can I do? A octave lower, change manuals. Yeah, of course. Really explore the yeah. possibilities. It's not only this two octaves; it's also there or there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what's also interesting is the quint flight. Mm -hmm. at the whole track, mm -hmm. and it blends very well with the Preston 8. Uh -huh. So we can maybe try this. Yeah, might work, not sure. <laughs> Like quint flutes mm. on the whole mm. softer ones. Mm. It's also one foot, a flute. Care to explain what happens because this one foot flute has very different effects when you go through the octaves. It, it makes um, um, an effect in the middle of the, the keyboard, it makes sort of a combinational effect that brings out a di different sound. Mm -hmm. And when you go up, it, it starts to be a solo voice almost. Yeah, maybe it's because of the voice. We can mm -hmm. listen to it, what yeah. happens. Yeah. It's a little bit louder than here. That's quite strange. Mm -hmm. When you play on it, you would think it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. This is loud. Yeah. It's a really nice flute. Very nice. <laughs> And in the lower octaves, it could be played, actually. Oh, yeah, we can. Charming effect, I yeah. think. It's fun. It's fun to use it like that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Maybe we can try the quint mm -hmm. as a solo stop with a quint lower. Ah, smart. Just try, try it. it yeah. Bit.
<laughs> it really works. Really? And it's, it's interesting because these um, qualities are not very often shown. No, that's right. So it's interesting to see that the, the, the quint can be used even as a solo stop. Yeah, but you have to think because you're playing a quint. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's a little bit hard to do, maybe. Yeah. Um, there are more flutes. There's a two foot flute at the uh, uh, Rugwijk. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 